Now let's take a look at Pandas library in Python and use it within our Google Colab Python notebook. So first thing, let's create code block and to call for our Pandas library, we make use of import Pandas as PD, right? And then here we will create a data frame df and within curly bracket we will be making use of let's say if i create an array for fruits containing four fruit items right so let's say and fourth item apple right now add comma and then let's add one more array of price so it should form a table and for that 10 20 30 and 40 right so now that we have our data frame variable next thing that we are going to do is we are going to print this data frame out now generally what we usually do is we just pass on this print tf right it should also does the work however uh, if you see the difference between print df and then pd dot data frame and then passing df to that these two will give you different outputs so printing df will print this as is within the line right meanwhile your pd dot data frame and then passing df to this should properly format your data frame like you get column number all these four then your fruits and their respective prices so we'll run this and see that as you can see printing df you get the output as is however printing from pd data frame df got you this fruits and price within this tabular format so this is how you create a data frame with and dance in Google Colab. Now let's see how to deal with series in Pandas. So let's create a series. Basically, we will create a variable, let's say A, that has an array of items 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now to turn this into our Panda series, what we'll do is we'll simply call for PD dot series then pass our variable right now what it will do is it will basically output our series like this now if you want to label this we can do so by simply going for print then pd dot series then we pass our array of variables over there that contain series of items then we will pass index that says let's say x right then y then z right x y z and finally let's return to a right now let me comment this out with pound sign right now if i run this Let's see the error here is basically it is telling me that here we have error that says pandas has no attribute series so how is that possible because it's lowercase if I run this now and here you see now it has mapped x to 2 y to 4 z to 6 and a to 8 so do pay attention to small things like this it should be uppercase right now after this what we will do is we will also try one more series which is going to be of key value pair right so we don't have to even label it now let's go for that and here uh, let's see if i have a basket that contains fruits and their respective price so mango is 10 right then apple is 
20 right and then let's say orange it's set for 30 and we closed our basket now if we call for let's say print and then pd series and pass it our basket it should output our key value pair right as you see we have our series properly in output so you see these three examples shows you how to work with series in pandas now let's take a look at how to upload csv and json file within your google collab python notebooks so for that we will use import io also we will use import json now once we have these two things from google.collab we will import files right and then we will have one variable let's name this upload it that will be holding files dot upload right and when i run this it should give me the file right so this dialog box i have to check for let's say first fruit json right so file is saved fruits json now if i run this again will open another dialog box by clicking on it and we add username csv and that file is also saved right now what i will do is i will try to read these files so basically let's say json underscore file equals to let's open this file which is basically fruits.json and then there is read parameter right then loaded underscore json equals to json underscore file then we are going to use read right so anything we read from this particular file will be stored within loaded json then we'll have to also close this read file then finally we print our json file with loaded underscore json right now let's run this and here you see it contains our fruit apple size large color red price is 20. now we manage to read the json file similarly we can also read our csv file and to do that what we will do is we will simply create a data frame let's name this df then we call our pandas pd dot read underscore csv right and then we will go for io dot bytes io and then within that we'll use upload it and within square bracket what we will do is we will call for this username csv right this is the file that we wish to read now we call for print df right okay now we will simply run this and here you see currently it is showing us this raw format however if we choose pd dot data frame and we pass on df to this right and if we run this here you see it needs to be clean in order for it to be viewed properly so both pd dot data frame and simply printing out df currently gives us the same output but we managed to read our username.csv file within google collab so that we have managed to read the data from our csv file there are some of the functions that you should know 
for analyzing the data. So for example, let's say instead of this print, if I go with let's say df.info, so it should give me info about my data frame, right? It should tell me how many entries are there, five entries, zero to four, then it should show me a few other data like usage, the type, which is object, and um, data like non-null, five non-null, the type object. So you get the information about your data frame with dot info to your data frame variable. So when you use that and print it out, it should give you output like this. Now, there is also one more function, which is head, right? So head always shows you first five entries within your data frame. So currently my data is only five first entries as is. So it should show you the data like that, right? Similarly, there is also head and there is tail, right? So if I run this, it should show me the last five which is again hard to get because my data is limited but if you have larger data you can check this out for both right so we have these three functions now if your uh, data has let's say um, empty cells in my case as you can see i don't have any so i can use drop na function for removing those empty cells right so let's have it as drop empty cell with drop any function. Now to remove the null values, what we'll do is df dot drop any, and then within that function we use in place equals to true, and then we will basically be calling for two underscore string right that should remove the null values right so basically we managed to drop empty cell with drop any function we also managed to drop the null values so these two things we have done we can also fill in uh, empty cell with let's say zeros to do that we can type in print then df and then fill in a right so it it's one function that can be called to replace with zero in place set to two so that it will particularly look for empty cell and replace with zeros right now comes the part where we try to remove duplicate so print df and then your method or function duplicated right so remove duplicates right so we have seen so far is removing empty cell then removing null values then replace zeros remove duplicates right now comes the correlation path which is with print and then df dot core method of function so what it will do is find correlation between sorry not with between your columns right so these are few functions you should know drop in a then drop in a and passing the parameter for removing null values then fill in a to replace with zeros duplicated for removing duplicates and then core for finding correlation between columns so these are some of the things that you should know for uh, manipulating your data that you get from your csv file with pandas library